So, the next session is on uh, overlap extension PCR. Overlap extension PCR generally we do to introduce mutations. So, there are several methods to introduce mutations chemical method, physical method, radiation method, etc., like that. Suppose if you want to introduce a particular mutation uh, into a gene site specifically you can use overlap extension PCR. So, for uh, site directed mutagenesis, site directed mutagenesis, we follow this overlap extension PCR. So, what is uh, site directed mutagenesis? Suppose uh, this is the gene sequence. So this is the gene sequence. If you want to change a nucleotide, that is this T nucleotide, if you want to change to C, okay, if you want to make to C, uh, you have to do a side directed mutagenesis using PCR only. So for this, what you will do is uh, suppose this is your uh, double stranded DNA fragment and the mutation if you want to introduce at this region, first you will make a oligonucleotide for this mutated region or where you want to introduce the mutation. So, you will introduce a, you will make a primer. So, in the middle of the primer, suppose if it is having around uh, 20 nucleotides, at the 10 or 11th base position, you will change this T nucleotide into C nucleotide. So, this one you can call it as M1 or mutation forward primer 1 or you can also call it as F of 1. You can give any name, but for easy understanding you can say M F1. Similarly, what you will do is, so this will be a forward primer. Similarly, you will design a, a reverse primer also. Okay. You will design a reverse primer also. So, this forward primer and reverse primer will have a, a same number of nucleotide and these two primer will be self-complementary. Okay. And uh, suppose if you introduced uh, uh, the mutation at the 10th nucleotide in the forward primer, same way in the uh, reverse primer also you have to introduce the mutation uh, that is suppose if it is C in the reverse primer you have to introduce G. So, that uh, when it uh, it can base pair and uh, it can uh, amplify it. So, you will be also having a forward primer for this gene. Okay. So, you will be also having a forward primer for this gene and also you will be having a reverse primer for this gene. So, you do not confuse this with uh, the earlier session where I have discussed the uh, nested PCR. In the nested PCR what you are doing is you will first amplify with a forward primer and reverse primer and that product you are actually amplifying with an internal primer and when you see the internal primer there, they are not self complementary. So, in the overlapping extension PCR, the internal primer where you have introduced the mutation is actually a self complementary primer. So, how you will do a PCR in this? So, first you will take the template, okay. So, this is in a tube number 1, okay. In this tube number 1, you will have this template and you will use this forward primer and you will use this mutated robust primer, okay. Forward primer and this mutated robust primer. Then you will add all the DNDPs, 
MgCl2, TAC polymerase, etc. like that. So in this you have to be careful, you have to use a proofreading uh, uh, TAC polymerase for doing the PCR. If you are using any uh, TAC polymerase which is having uh, uh, terminal transferase activity, then uh, you, you will not get a successful product. So in the uh, overlap extension PCR, the TAC polymerase what you are using should have a proofreading activity. So in the next tube, you will be again have the template, same template okay. and uh, you will use the reverse primer, you will use the reverse primer and mutated forward primer. So this will be in another tube, okay. So you will do two separate reactions using forward gene forward and mutator reverse then in a second tube you will do with mutated forward and gene reverse primer okay so normal pcr you will do for 30 cycles then what you will do is you will run the products in an agros jar so you have this template dna so we have products from the from here to here okay and you have products from the second PCR2 like this. So this is your mutated forward and mutated reverse primer region. Okay. So when you have this, two, uh, so after PCR, you run the products in an agro gel and determine the sizes and also see whether the PCR has happened uh, successfully. So you will get a, when you add up the, uh, re, uh, the product sizes, you will get the gene size, what you are actually looking for. That is how you have to look into. If any size reduction is there, then you have to uh, repeat it and uh, see it. If any size difference is there, whether increase, if the product size, when you add it up, if it is coming above the uh, size of forward, uh, the, uh, the region between forward primer and reverse primer or less than that, you have to again check it. So you will get a two products from tube number one and uh, tube number two and if you see for the products for this region you will have the overlapping region that is why it is called overlap extension PCR and that overlapping came because the mutated forward and the mutated reverse were self complementary. So now what you will do is you will make dilution of this PCR products, okay. You will make dilution of this PCR products and you will do another PCR where you have diluted products from the first one and you have diluted product from the second one, okay. So in the denatured state, this will be single standard and when you go for annealing because this forward primer and reverse primer region or uh, base complementarity is there, so this region will undergo uh, base complementarity. So in the third PCR reaction what you are setting up, you will not add any primers, okay. You will not add any primers. Here the products from the first and the product from the second, they will be acting as long oligonucleotide primers. So when you go for uh, the extension step using TAC polymerase, the product will increase to its size, okay. So you will get a product like this. So now what you can do is, after this PCR cycle, you can go for around 10 cycles or 15 cycles. Then after that, okay, then after that, so in the third reaction, you are not adding any template DNA, original template DNA, you are actually using diluted products of the first reaction and second reaction and you are doing a normal PCR for around 10 cycles. Then after that, 10 cycles, you will again make a master mix and in that master mix, you will not have the original template DNA or you will not have the 
products from the first reaction or second reaction. You will have only the gene forward and gene reverse primer plus MgCl2, DNDP and TAC polymerase. So this after adding this uh, master mix, you can cycle the PCR for 40 cycles. So what will happen? So this products will be there as a template in the tube, uh, reaction tube and uh, in the next PCR cycle for 30 cycles or 40 cycle, the products will be formed using this template. So, okay. So after that 40 cycles, what you will get is you will be having a PCR product where the mutation is introduced. So this PCR product, you can clone it into any vectors and you can sequence it and confirm that the mutation is incorporated. So this is how a site directed mutagenesis is done. Okay. So this is all about the site directed mutagenesis. So this is actually internationally at a particular site you are introducing it. So this site directed mutagenesis disadvantages, you can introduce mutation only one or in the primer maximum you can put a, around a, a two or three in a single primer. So usually uh, very nearby uh, changes are not done. So per uh, primer there will be only one mutation will be there. So because of that the number four, uh, suppose if you want to introduce uh, 10 mutations in a gene. So you have to repeat the site directed metagenesis several times. So this will take time and again you have to clone it and each time you have to extract it then again you have to make template, you have to repeat this. So this will be a uh, long procedure. So introduce mutation at several locations in a single template. People have used another PCR technique called inverse PCR. So we will be discussing about the inverse PCR in the next video. Please subscribe our channel, share our channel and also press the bell icon and like our channels. Thank you very much.